गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन दिस इज डॉक्टर श्रावंती आई डेड माई बैचलर्स ऑफ डेंटल सर्जरी फ्रॉम मलारी डी डेंटल कॉलेज फॉर वुमेन एंड आई करंटली आई एम वर्किंग इन इंटर्नशिप इन यूथ एम्पावरमेंट फाउंडेशन सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन वन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज सी पी आर वॉट डू मीन बाय द सी पी आर इट्स नथिंग बट द कार्डियो पलमरी रिसस्टेशन इट इज़ अ लाइफ सेविंग टेक्निक विच इज़ यूजफुल इन द एमरजेंसी कंडीशंस लाइक वी ऑल सी द हार्ट अटैक पेशेंट्स और समवन हु इज़ पेंटिंग इन द रोड्स सो वॉट डू यू वॉट यू विल डू डू दैट पेशेंट बिफोर कॉलिंग द एम्बुलेंस और बिफोर मूविंग हिम टू द हॉस्पिटल वॉट यू विल डू फॉर लाइफ सेविंग यू विल डू सम सिंपल प्रोसीजर नोन हैज द सी पी आर इट इज़ नोन एज कार्डियो पलमरी रिसस्टेशन which uh, uh, the purpose w- w- it maintains an open airway airway to that person and it maintains the breathing by the external ventilation so that the circulation uh, circulation will go to the cardiac and there will be cardiac messenger so uh, ma- ma- massaging will be done so you will save the patient and wa- in which conditions you will do the cpr it is uh, it is done in the cardiac arrest patients or in the respiratory arrest like cardiac arrest means it's of the ventricular fibrillation or the tachycardia or the aristoles or the pulse uh, less electric activity etc conditions and in the respiratory attack like uh, the patient may be drowning like fainting or or he may he may got a stroke or in foreign body is attacked in this in his throat uh, or in the smoke inhalation conditions uh, or in the drug overdose to the patient or in the suffocating patient or uh, it may be in the accident road accidents or in the injury or a patient may be underwent into the coma condition or in the epiglottis paralysis stage in in all these conditions you can perform in cpr it's a life saving procedure you uh, anyone can do this uh, in and while in the road accident uh, accident conditions too uh, you can perform a cpr before the ambulance comes what is the cpr procedure it is a sequence of the processes which which are performed to restore the circulation of the oxygenated blood after a sudden pulmonary or the cardiac arrest has been taken place to that patient uh, in that what you will do in the chair, in, in the cpr we will do the chest compressions uh, you, you all will do the chest compressions and the pulmonary ventilations which is performed by anyone who knows uh, how to do it or or it can be done in anywhere immediately without any equipment uh, what are all the steps you will do in the cpr first of all first is the approaching safely to that patient and second is of the checking the responsiveness of the patient and third one is of the shouting for the help and fourth is of the opening the airway to that patient and the checking mm-hmm. the breathing and then next calling the 108 ambulance number and that that uh, and then you will perform the cpr it's of the 30 chest compressions are given and two rescue breaths are given to that patient how you will in the in, in this one approaching safely you should you, you should enter to that patient to the approaching safely and then second is of the checking the response how you will check the response of the patient by the shaking the shoulders gently asking the patient are you all right or not wake hey wake up are you all right or not like this you will check the patient's response if he responds leave has you uh, has you find him or if it goes wrong then uh, then raises the regularly and then shout for the if he is not responding the patient is not responding then the third step, third step we shout for the help uh, help anyone 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 who is visible to you anyone you can shout for the help and then fourth one is of the opening the airway on that patient how you will airway, uh, how will you will over open your airway airway of that patient you will touch the patient's head and uh, tilt it and or, or in or by uh, chin, uh, chin lifting or by jaw thrusting like in the picture you can see mm, you can uh, tilt the patient's head and that uh, you can lift the chin up and the jaw thrust in this way in this way you can air, uh, open the airway of that patient and next fourth step is of the checking for the breathing how you will check for the breathing you can listen to the normal breathing normal and you can feel 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 the normal breathing by seeing the chest or you can listen or you can look at the look at the patients if he is not uh, not um, not breathing then you can call for the 108 one uh, 108 or um, ambulance number then you can start the 30 chest compressions 
you will do the 30 chest compressions how we will do the chest compressions you will place like in the picture you can see uh, you can place the heel uh, heel of your uh, one hand in the center of the chest of the patient and place the another on, on uh, another hand on top of your hand and then interlock between the fingers and then you start the chest compressions like in the picture you see you should need to place your hand by interlocking it with the both the hands interlocking it with, with the fingers and you place them on the ch uh, patient's chest and then you start the compressions of the chest and the rate is important while doing the chest compressions the rate and the depth of the chest compressions is important the how, how what what is the rate it is of the 100 minute per mi uh, minute uh, ma ma means for one minute you can do the 100 chest compressions that much uh, ra rate you should need to maintain and the depth is very very important that is of the 4 to 5 centimeters or it is of the 1.5 to 2 inch it should need should need to you should need to press 1.5 to 2 inches below so that you can regain the circulation to the heart and you can increase the respiration and the circulations to the heart and then equal compressions and the relaxations what do you mean by the equal compressions and the relaxations it means the how much comp how, how much you are compressing that much you need to relax again uh, again uh, if it is pressing you you are pressing 4 to 5 centimeters down then it should need to upward uh, upward is also 4 to 5 centimeters upward should be given that is the relaxation equal compressions and the relaxations are, are necessary while doing the compressions when po uh, if uh, uh, if if possible you can operate the CPR with the two operators so you can exchange with the other persons every two minutes after that one after doing the 30 compressions is important after doing the 30 compressions you go for the rescue breaths two rescue breaths are important 30 compressions and the two rescue breaths are important how you will do for the rescue breaths uh, rescue breaths are given by the pinching the nose and the taking a normal take a normal breath and the place the lips over the mouth and the blow until the chest rises you can see the chest rising above and take about one second and allow the chest to fall a repeat you can use them uh, use any a barrier protection also like any mouth mask or anything place it on the lips of the per person and then you can blow blow, blow the air into that patient but two rescue breaths are important after doing every 30 compressions two rescue breaths are important this is called as a cpr and it is most important and the life saving procedure you all, everyone can do it um, do it in the patients um, this is the topic i need to explain it thank you very much